I don't know about you, but a lot of us carry emotional baggage around with us every single day. So when I'm on vacation, I try to take as little physical baggage as possible with me. This travel hack is not only going to save you money, but also time and energy, which are definitely more important. Today in Miss Pena's class, I'm going to be teaching you something they should have taught you in school. We're going to talk about how to pack a carry-on size luggage for an extended vacation. Now, before you come for my neck, just remember, I'm not a scientist. This is just how I pack my bag so that I can have an enjoyable trip with the least amount of literal baggage as possible. Stick around to figure out which item I carry in my bag that my grandma literally thought would cure her cancer. I want you to guess down below what the item is. If you're Hispanic, I bet you will get it first shot, no warm ups. Let's go. Now I know y'all are nosy, so I am gonna show you guys my bag at the end of the video. In the first few minutes of the video though, I am gonna go over about five things that I think are really important to keep in mind when packing a carry-on size bag. And then we're gonna move into what I actually packed so you can get a visual and an idea of what it looks like to pack a bag for a long trip. That's so small. Let's do it. So I might've said that I was going to give you guys tips before I showed you the clothes and what I'm gonna pack, but I think a lot of you guys are like me and you're metiche and you just love to know the business and the tea. So let's just get straight into my bag because I think that's gonna be more fun. Here's a broad look of what I'm bringing. Of course, the bags here, it's a 40 ounce REI trail bag, which is just like a backpack for basically going on a hike or something, but it's big enough for me to go on a vacation. So let me show you how I fit all of this stuff in there and what I'm bringing. If you wanna pack light, the first thing you have to do is just pack not a lot of clothes, but stuff that you can make into alpha. So I have one, two, three bottoms. Now you'll notice that a lot of my shirts are either white or black just to keep it really basic so I can interchange them with any of these. I have an undershirt, a tank top, a dressy shirt, a dressy shirt, another tank top. Then over here I have a black dress, um, which I'm going to wear to the wedding. And then here I have um, a pair of PJ pants and a pair of workout shorts. Hopefully I don't have to use these at all. That's just on period over here i have the bra i'm gonna wear most of the time i don't wear bras because if you know you know anyways moving on over here i bring um a few sports bras at the bottom of this which i use as pj tops a lot so that i feel fresh and i feel like i'm changing them more often and i have um socks and underwear in here then i have my bathing suit top bathing suit bottoms and the little cover that goes along with it here now these are the shoes I'm bringing. I have one more pair of shoes that I will be wearing on the flight. Maybe I'll show you guys my flight stuff later. Over here I have masks because even though like the panini isn't really like forcing these on anyone, on those flights, like I just can't be bothered to breathe in anyone's air anymore. Ugh, you nasty, you dirty. I'm scared of your breath, honestly. Anyways, I call this hat right here the Adventure Mom 3000, Soccer Mom 200, whatever you want to call it because I guess I'm officially at that age. I need to be protecting my face from this UV rays, if you know what I'm saying. They're out to attack me. Anyways, uh, here are some charging cords and adapters. Over here, we got my passport, my journal, a book, and my laptop. Of course, I'm also bringing a highlighter and a pen to be able to read and stuff. Over here, we have an extra charging hub. Um, and some cords as well as some tape because I get really scrapbooky. For all you ladies, if you want to avoid carrying a strainer and a curler, then just bring a strainer because it kind of can do both as long as you know how to do the little twirly thing. If you know, you know. Over here is my headband, um, some facial tissue because when you need it, you need it, you know. We got chapstick and Vicks for all you Hispanics out there. My grandma literally thought that would cure her cancer. And to be honest, she had stage four cancer and beat it. So was she wrong? I don't know. Over here, apparently this helps you poop if you get constipated. My friend Sonia gave it to me. Shout out, Sonia. Then over here, we have concealer and just some makeup stuff. And we got to make sure to have that good sunscreen to protect your skin from those nasty little UV rays. Now that we get, you know, a little age on us, if you will. You need tweezers and a little razor because you don't want to be caught with a weird pelo anywhere because that's embarrassing. Over here, we have actually, pause, it's not embarrassing. The patriarchy made us think that, but... Anyways, recovering from my internalized misogyny, let's go. Right here, have my eyeshadow palette, some face mask because you. one thing you need to know about me is my skin's gonna be glowing. We have cleanser, a toothbrush, some hair ties and bobby pins or mascara, a brush, and then we have this styling brush I could lay down my flyaway hairs. 
Right here, this is Eco Gel. I just put it in a smaller container. We have some facial wipes because I'm not going to smell like armpits. That's going to be you, honey, not me. You will never catch me smelling like an armpit unless I use natural deodorant, which is like all the time because it doesn't have aluminum. And then like you just sweat anyways. Anyways, here is um, some earplugs, uh, Q-tips, and floss, as well as a little night little cap so that I can cover my eyes. I am going to go over about five things that I think are really important to keep in mind when packing a carry-on size bag. The first tip I have for you guys is to pack light. When you pack light, you're at less risk, period, because when you have all this stuff on you, you can't really defend yourself. You also, like, I travel a lot as a single woman. Like, I don't want to look like a tourist. I just want to look like I have a backpack on. So traveling light is going to make your life easier. It's going to make you literally weigh less, which is going to be less exhausting. You're going to save money by not having to check a bag. And you're going to save time because after the flight, you don't have to wait at baggage claim. You can just throw your bags on. You're not constantly having to hold around luggage or go back for luggage because you checked it in somewhere like this just saves a lot of time energy and money and that's always on my agenda so we're gonna pack light as tip number one let's get into tip number two tip number two is going to be pack outfits not clothes it's a lot like going to the grocery store if you go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of snacks but no meals you're always gonna like be hungry. The same thing with clothes. If you pack a bunch of random clothes that doesn't go together, that doesn't interchange, you're just gonna be like, I have nothing to wear, now what? So the goal is if I have a shirt, then I want that shirt to be able to go with at least two pairs of bottoms that I brought. And if I have bottoms, I would like that to go with at least two shirts that I brought making multiple outfits out of what I have so I don't look like I'm repeating too much, but I also look put together still. Number three is so obvious, but I forget it every time I go traveling, I swear. It's that I can buy anything I need on the road for the most part. Now, if you're going on like an excursion through the mountains or something or through a really, really rural area, in that case, obviously, you can't just buy things, but in most places you can buy whatever you need. So I just played back number three to myself and I actually realized I said, oh, even when you're in these rural and remote places when you're traveling. Now, again, there are some rural and remote places, but still look it up because I've been on like backpacking tours through mountains and where there are tourists, there's money and where there's money, there's people selling things. So even in some of the places that I thought were so rural that I could not find anything, I was always able to find something to buy, to be honest. So again, unless you're going like on a backpacking true through the mountains excursion, like chances are you can get what you need at the store or at a small shop in a neighborhood, you know? So just keep that in mind. Number four is going to be packing away your stuff before you leave. This is so important because you need to know how much weight you're carrying on your back before you decide to go traveling with that and potentially carry that on your back for hours and hours and hours a day. You don't wanna have a cramping back on vacation. It's not fun. So you want to have a decent amount of clothes that's enough, but you also don't want to overpack unknowingly just because you have space and be carrying a burden on your back. So make sure to pack and weigh before you leave so that you have clear numbers to be able to measure if you were able to get any of that weight down. Remember, the less weight you bring, the more you can bring back. So again, it's not about having like a deficit mindset, it's about having an abundance, that there's always gonna be whatever you need, that there's always gonna be more to buy. So it's not about, you can't bring anything, it's about make room for more, right? Number five is gonna seem obvious, but I don't know. I think some people need a reminder. Only bring necessities. Don't bring it if it's not necessary and if you're not going to use it because the worst thing is carrying something on your back for weeks or months at a time and then realizing I literally never used this. I just carried it around and my back ached and my toes hurt for what? It's my hope that this video taught you something about how to carry a little less baggage with you in your day-to-day -day life. If it has, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm and helps me finesse. And beyond that, thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Be safe, be respectful, be responsible. Remember, the mind is everything what you think you become. So think positive thoughts and take care. Bye-bye, guys.